everybody, Cook I'm a Jacob here. Today is Father's Day, and I'm gonna make some ratatouille from the Pixar movie Ratatouille. By the way, comment down below. Have you watched Pixar's Ratatouille? And now I'm gonna make the sauce. So you wanna get your pot on your flame. I'm gonna get some olive oil. I'm using olive oil to really bring in that taste. Put some of it in here. Garlic and onion. I'm gonna add some onion. And I'm gonna saute it. It smells nice already. This is already making me hungry. <laughs> right, so I lowered my flame to medium so it doesn't burn. And I'm gonna put some marin some marinara sauce that already has some basil in there into my pot. Herbs de Provence. Thank you. Seasonings of my choice. So 21 seasonings of wood. Some garlic powder. And some cayenne pepper. I'm going to add some salt for taste. So I'm just ripping up some fresh herbs. And again, you can use any type of seasoning you want. I am putting in some more basil, some oregano. You, heck, you can even put in some peppermint if you would like. Man, fresh basil and oregano is smelling good right now. Test taste. It's good. So now I'm gonna turn off the hot plate and I'm gonna move this to the side. These are the vegetables that we will be using. Squash, zucchini, eggplant, and a tomato. And I'm going to be using my mandolin to cut them. This is a mandolin. I'm gonna use my mandolin to cut the vegetables. This is what they look like. Now, I'm going to do the other one. So I'm just going to show you how the other ones work. Here's what the eggplant looks like. And last but not least, I'm going to do the tomato. So I'm going to put the tomato in here so I don't cut my finger. So I just finished cutting my vegetables with the mandolin, but if you don't have a mandolin, I'm going to show you a hack that you can use. So I have my fork right here, and I'm gonna st I stick it into my vegetable, and I'm going to get my knife, I'm going to cut even pieces. Just like that. So you just want to keep on doing that if you don't have a mandolin. I have my casserole bowl here, and I'm going to get my sauce, I'm going to spread it. So I'm just going to smooth it out. Since I have a lot of pieces, I'm going to double them up on each other. I'm going to get two pieces of eggplant, two slices of tomato, two slices of squash, and two slices of the zucchini. I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm gonna repeatedly do that until I fill the whole bowl. And All right, so this was the last piece. Look at this, let me just give it a spit. Now, doesn't that look good? Now, I'm gonna get some oil and sprinkle it all on here. All in, I have my olive oil right here, and I'm gonna season it with a bit of Herbs de Provence. Salt. 
You don't want to put too much salt. And a little bit of pure ground black pepper. And I'm going to mix that all in on my spoon. And now I'm going to drizzle it with my spoon. So I have my foil right here. Cover my ratatouille. I'm going to put it in my toaster oven at around 400 degrees and let it cook for 20 minutes. And then after that, I'm going to take off the foil and let it bake for another 10 to 15 minutes. My ratatouille is almost done and I'm going to make some polenta in the meanwhile. I have four cups of water and one teaspoon of salt and I'm going to slowly add polenta which is basically just instant cornmeal and I'm going to add it slowly while whisking the water. So I'm whisking it to make sure it doesn't get clumped up. So it's, this is polenta, it takes five minutes to cook, it's kind of like grits. And as you can see, it has a nice and good te texture. I'm going to add some cheddar cheese to it, because I, I like a cheesy taste in there. And a little bit of butter. I'm going to mix it in. I'm going to try crushing that butter a bit also. As you can see, the cheese is already disappearing. The cheese and the butter are already disappearing like it was never there. I'm going to move this to the side and bring out the ratatouille. Here is the finished product of our ratatouille. You can see it's a little chart on the top, which actually gives out the colors, especially for the eggplant. It really stands out more. And I'm going to plate it in a special type of way. I can just get it here. Let's put this right here. I'm going to let this off of it. Take this off of it. Oh, it's hot. And that is how we're supposed to plate the ratatouille. I, I kind of messed it up by folding one part, but... I tried to make the best of it, and my best actually looks pretty good. I'll show you two other ways to plate it. Put it right here on the egg. I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna put it right here. If you enjoyed seeing me make the ratatouille and seeing the three different ways that you can plate the ratatouille. Also, I want to say a happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. And maybe you can enjoy eating this Ratatouille while watching the Ratatouille movie. Now, wouldn't that be a twist? <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And happy Father's Day. I'll see you again next time. Bye.